Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. Tonight we have NECC playoffs. We're here in the quarterfinals of Rock League. WCU Crimson taking on Grays Harbor College. Grays Harbor BSB. I'm Mountain Man, joined here by... Disagree. And JoJo's Mojo. I mean, tonight, WCU Mountaineers, the Crimson squad coming in at seed one. Facing off against the seed eight Grays Harbor College team. And quickly, we're going to see why WCU is number one as a follow up from Thing it gets an, or a solo play from Thing actually yeah. gets a quick lead to them to this series. Yeah. Uh, don't know what Dilly was doing there. Definitely probably could have saved it. But. Yeah, just kind of sitting there in goal. Thing yeah. putting them up. They're scoring a goal in 19 seconds into game one. This is a best of five series. I mean, starting in second round, the semifinals, it will be best of seven. BSB with a good chance on a follow-up, but nothing to show for. It's going to be Thing, Smalls, and Sean leading the charge for WCU. Will be sitting in the back, ready just in case they need him. Smalls going up to try and challenge. Unable to find anything. Sean getting a nice clear downfield. It's going to be up to Sleepy. Sleepy now sends it sky high. Thing going to be trying to pass it over. Sean looking for a pass over to Smalls now. Not able to connect. Gets lucky, though. Smalls with a good clear downfield. Sean going to follow up, looking for a chance. No, looking for another back pass, but doesn't find it. Yeah, both teams here just kind of missing the angles. Thing with another attempt. Oh, my God. And a beautiful a double tap to, to That's the second goal of the match, and good Lord, what a goal that was. I mean, a solo double tap from that angle is pretty hard for those of you who know how to play this game. For those who don't, it is tough, but... Yeah, we are in a best of five series, keep in mind. So, I mean, it could just be one and done. That's what you have to consider. Rocket League is a lot faster than most other esports. Yeah, so for this, uh, this is part of the NECC playoff. So it's one out elimination. This is the quarterfinals. So whatever team wins here in this best of five series moves on to the semifinals starting next Friday. So and as Smalls puts a shot on the goal here, Dilly gets the save. Last time these te two teams saw each other in regular season, WCU did win 3-1 to one over Grays Harbor with very close matches throughout the season, or throughout the season, throughout the game itself. The series. With one <laughs> one meg massive blowout for WCU with their winning match point game, a 4-0 victory. Yeah, so far here, Western Colorado definitely maintaining control, keeping it on BSB's Grays Harbor side of the field. Another shot here from Smalls. A good Just save by Dilly. Yeah. And it's going to be Thing in the backfield waiting for a chance. Gets bumped by Smalls on his rotation back. Sean going to be trying to pass over to Thing. Thing tries to get it towards net. Unable to do so. Smalls going to follow up. Looking to find that center once again. Challenges Dilly. It's going to be over to Sean who gets the shot off. And it's oh just off the upper 90. So close. Well, Sean or Thing going back in. Centering it for Sean. Oh. Sean's there to, or no, Smalls, Smalls is there to follow up. I thought Sean was still there. And the floppy yep. fish goal explosion, just a great way to celebrate another goal. Absolutely. Mountaineers coming up on the halfway mark here in game one, 3-0 lead. Yep. And the winner of this series will play uh, UH Major League Cougs. So definitely a good rematch for WCU if they take this map, this series. Yeah, that's the only team the WCU Crimson lost to in the regular season, so. Ooh, almost a reverse pinch, and it will be capitalized on by BSB as Smalls and Thing both tried to block it here. Just popped it just off the corner and yeah, easy sleep, follow up. Sleepy Kid coming in, getting it. Just the right touch to get in the back of the net. Just a scoring starter for BSB, so we'll see how that turns the tide of this game, if it does at all. I mean, as I said, Wooby is still in the back pocket of the Mountaineers. I don't think that Western should be fast to put him in, but I don't think they shouldn't either. He has been a consistent passer and backfield player for the Mountaineers. Someone who you could really rely on in tough, scary situations. Absolutely. We've seen some phenomenal passes from Wooby to Sean this season, so... Definitely some good team chemistry there. WCU Crimson, honestly, just having a solid roster for this uh, spring 2023 season, so. Yeah, they've got their main four, and then they also have two other subs who they have yet to use or need once, not even requesting them. Ooh. Oh, Smalls tries to sneak up just under the crossbar, isn't, or gets blocked by Dilly, the defensive powerhouse of, honestly, I think that's just the best powerhouse that 
BSB has right now. Almost a redirect shot from Dilly as well, but not quite on target. And now, oh my gosh, WCU just putting the pressure on, trying to keep it in BSB's half. Small's going up for his own solo play, isn't able to connect. Thing now looking to center. Yeah, WCU has definitely kept on Gray's Harbor side of the field, I'd say over 80% of the time here. Yep, Smalls gets up and clears the zone. Again, the offense definitely killer for WCU as Sean Ooh. finds Exclin. I mean, a demo, yeah, that's huge. And uh, Sean looking to pass over to Smalls maybe, but Smalls turns the wrong way for that pass to happen. Sean now off ceiling. It looks like the Mountaineers are just really feeling comfortable, really playing fast, and that's what's just, I mean, Overall, BSB can't even contend. Yeah, at this point, with less than 40 seconds remaining, WCU just making sure they maintain this victory. Still up two points here with 30 seconds remaining. And that's Maybe. more than an uphill climb for the or for BSB with how Western is playing. And Smalls just barely gets blocked by Dilly once again. Yeah, Dilly mainly getting a majority of these saves. Open goal there, or net there for Dilly as... X-Climb finishes yeah. that. I mean, yeah. great redirect from X-Climb if he decided to fake that. Sean definitely had the save. Sean just going boost over ball, or boost over defense at that point, which, not what you want to see, but that's not a bad idea if the other person decides to try and fake it. Just an unfortunate way that one played down, but final f seven seconds here. Small's looking to center, he passes it up high. Sean going up to challenge. Looks for Thing. Thing tries to follow it and isn't able to. It's going to be a clear downfield. Uh, is BSB? No! Ooh. Ooh. That was scary. That was a little, little too close for comfort. A yeah, little closer for the Mountaineers, but Mountaineers win game one in this best of five series. So, WCU looking good. Yeah, I'm taking a look at the scoreboard here. Thing taking the top 2 1 0 oh, 3. Two goals, one assist. Getting the assist on the only other goal. So, Thing has a major part to do in why the Mountaineers won game one. Sean, I mean, right now a lot of patience coming from WCU between this, or between readying up and not. WCU has yet to sub anyone this season too. Crimson, I mean, Crimson hasn't subbed a single player all semester. Yeah, it's definitely a common for them. Once they find their rhythm, I mean, they've been winning. So as long as that combination works, WCU has not really been going for the subs. We'll be getting underway in just a second into game two. Here we go. And a quick kickoff goal from Sean. I'm a little bit slow to start the stream. There is a little bit of a scoreboard mix up, but that's okay. That happens. We do get to see the replay, anyway. see the replay anyhow. Just a fast kickoff goal, having someone stall it in the middle and someone follow up. It's just a great standard play that most Rocket League teams will use. Yeah, only two seconds in. That's about as quick as you can score off the kickoff. So good start here for the Mountaineers. Yeah, and BSB just kind of on the... I mean, they're still really... They're ready to play fast. They just need to. And Western's not wanting to give them any room to breathe. Or breathe. Ugh. Not breathe. That's a drink. <laughs> Smalls with zero boost does get demoed. It's... BSB, I think, is going to go for more passing plays as we see it right now, and they're just trying to control the pace of the game, but they're not able to do so. Western just coming out with control and speed. And keeping it in the offensive side for WCU here. Got a slight double commit there. Doesn't seem to be effective, though. WCU still just playing good offensively, good defense, keeping it on Grace Harbor's side of the field. Ooh, and a good pinch from Sleepy Kid. Sean gets the control out of harm's way past X-Climb. It's going to be Dilly challenging now. Or no, Dilly backs off. It's going to be Sleepy Kid clearing it down the field. Looks like a game of just throwaway from Gray's Harbor for the moment, and WCU playing a game of control. Slightly risky play there from Smalls, but nobody from Gray's Harbor able to capitalize. Smalls get a tap off the ground, but nobody from WCU. I mean, and it looked like he got a stall there on his flip, which is a little unfortunate. That stall can keep your height, but it can't get the goal to finish, or it can't get enough power into the shot sometimes to help you really get what you need out of it. Demo onto Sean, but Thing quickly clears it. An okay quick chat from Sean. A little unhappy from that, but 
as Thing almost gets WCU up to a 2-0 lead once again. Sean now playing defensive, playing smart. Pops it over two. Sleepy's gonna come in. Dilly up, missing. Same as Smalls, actually. Yeah, nonetheless, Grace Harbor is actually getting a lot more shots this game compared to game one, but WCU keeping the pressure on. Yeah, and Dilly playing a lot more aggressive this game than what we saw last time. It looks like Grace Harbor switching up who's playing back, and they're trying to keep that two-in-one rotation where two people are attacking at all times and one person is playing defense. Almost Smalls puts a shot on goal there, finds it center is Thing, but Thing clears it to the right. Again, tries to put a shot on goal. Sleepy saves it. Exlin goes up. No one's in front of the net, but it misses anyway as Sean boops it into the left corner. I mean, a bump onto Smalls here from Sleepy. It's really just a game. It's a physical game right now from Gray's Harbor. Yeah, we're seeing and lots of bumps from both sides, which are really? proving effective, though. So They are proving effective, and they're keeping this game a lot closer than what game one started out as. Dilly tries to put it in. Sean's in the air, though, to save it there. Small is going to try and clear it, doesn't get the clear, but Thing is centered to clear it. Exclaim gets the save. I mean, Sean Western, puts it back in the other half. Western right now playing a lot more patient this, or like they're still playing fast and aggressive, don't get me wrong, but they're just playing a lot more let Grace Harbor throw it away. Get one or two people on to pressure the ball, and then let Grace Harbor just throw it off to the side, downfield, wherever they need to. Good and then there. Sean opts for the defense. He pops it high, a little worrisome. Dilly comes in. Thing does get the block anyhow. And now it's going to be Thing going in on a solo play. Zeroed, trying to get a little bit extra, isn't able to do so. Sean trying to center, and it's going to be a clear from X Climb. Sean going to try and finish himself, and he does. Just sneaks it under the crossbar, putting WCU up 2 0 with a minute and a half left in game two. That was an absolute great shot, great follow up there from Sean. Kind of being the only Mountaineer downfield. Smalls coming in a little bit late, but Sean got it done. Mountaineers go up 2-0 with a minute 29 remaining. I think the rotations from Grace Harbor is what's really killing them this game. Right now, Western not really worried about the double commits, just playing fast, aggressive, and being smart with how they challenge, when they challenge. And when they do, they're making sure that it's not going to be a 50-50. It's going to be a one hit. Like They will win that challenge no matter what. Smalls demo sleepy kid here. Sean playing very aggressive. Sleepy Kid goes in for a shot off of Exclim. Small is going to go for the clear. Dilly puts it back towards the goal. Smalls, or Sean's there to cover it up. I mean, a huge sequence of events there as there was almost an own goal from the Mountaineers and a high pop, a little bit dangerous, but Small's going to get a free clear downfield and the Mountaineers now coming in on three on one. Then going to go up and try and touch it to stall it for Sean to get back and get boost with plenty of time to spare. Smalls goes up for the challenge and wins it, actually. Yeah, you can and definitely tell Western Colorado playing a little more defensive, a little more reserved here. Having a really good rotations into goal for the Mountaineers. Sean tries to put it in Oh goal. my oh, gosh, what a pass. It. Smalls puts it back in center for Sean. Great pass, but again, blocked by Exclin. I mean, overall, I think right now the main thing from Western is that they are just playing a more solid all-around game than Grace Harbor. Grace Harbor definitely has their moments, and when they were going for a lot more bumps and demos at the start, it was working, and it kept it closer in WCU's half. But right now, Western just controlling the pace of the game, controlling how they did it, and with that time running out and the ball hitting the ground, that will be game two in favor of WCU. Western up 2-0 in the series and in that game. Yeah, well played there from the Mountaineers. Taking a look at the scoreboard, we had Sean leading the charge with both goals for the WCU. Mountaineers just with eight shots on goal. That's kind of where the difference is. Defensively, Grace Harbor did a great job. They had, what is that, five, six, six saves. saves. Six so. saves, almost as many shots at five. I mean, overall, the main thing to consider here is that Western just kept it going, and they did not relent. The speed and at which Western played and the control at which or with which they played, just put them ahead in the series and really made the difference at the end of the day. And right now, Grace Harbor's looking at possibly getting swept. They're back into a corner, and it's going to be a completely same lineup from both teams. No subs from Grace Harbor, and Western electing to not use Wilby tonight. Yeah, WCU, if they win this game, they move on to the semifinals, which will then become best of seven, so... Grace Harbor just looking to stay alive. WCU looking to close out the quarterfinals here in three. For now, kickoff in WCU's favor. Slight 
redirect from Grace Harbor. And it's going to be a great shot opportunity. And it's going to be a goal quickly from Sleepy Kid. I don't know where everyone on Western was. Smalls was back. Sean and... Oh, Thing just got beat as a last man. Great solo play from Sleepy Kid. Great dribbling, honestly. That was just, the first time we've seen WCU down, so I'm excited to see how they respond to this. If they just kind of keep their same strategy, or if they're going to be slightly more aggressive to try and rebound from that one down goal. And it's going to be, like you said, it's going to be interesting to see how WCU plays while down. Not something that we've seen frequently this season, but the passing here Ooh. from Western is unreal. Yes. And a <laughs> rifle from Sean as he collects it from Thing that was just a, goes over the top of Dilly. Beautiful shot there from Sean coming from half field, hitting that upper 90 slightly on the left side. Almost saved there from Grays Harbor. So I mean, Dilly was right there. He just couldn't quite get the recovery fast enough. A lot of Rocket League in similarity to other esports is the reaction time but the reaction from for the players is a lot more mechanical than most other games with a lot of control of very slight things with your car thing now goes up tries to just dunk it in isn't able to do so sean challenge is going to be up for smalls smalls centers sean goes for the bump and it's going to work even though he didn't actually hit it Forced the opposing, or I think it was uh, Sleepy Kid who was up last. Yeah. yeah, it was Sleepy Kid, and it just forced him off of the ball enough that he couldn't get up for the save. Already three goals in less than 50 seconds here in game three. Both teams trying to either either stay alive or end the series. So, I mean, oh my gosh! Oh no! No, and it's Sean an own goal. <laughs> puts it up. Dilly tries to save it and finds his own net. No, Dilly got the save just fine. X climb found his own net on oh, accident. Unfortunate. Oh my gosh, for that is harbor. That hurts. And being yeah. that we are the spectator, we do in fact get to say or see that replay, and it forces Grace Harbor to relive it. That just stings. It's gonna be a pop up from Small Center looking for anyone. Thing almost gets the challenge, but Sleepy Kid gonna be leading the charge for Grace Harbor. Sean clears it out. And not, not able to find anything. Thing now up to defend. Last back gets the challenge and the touch before Dilly gets there. Dilly just sending Thing away. And right now Western just playing, like I said, once again, a lot more control and a lot faster. It's just, it is the difference. I think this might be a high scoring game though as we did just see four goals in a matter of a minute there. I mean, to be fair, we've also seen none in <laughs> just about the same amount of time. That so. is fair. <laughs> Hit or miss. I mean, a great challenge from Thing, too. Saving that flip for last second just so he can recover a lot better. And Small splits it towards net. Thing now going to challenge. Pops it high. Sean's going to come in. Oh, my gosh. The bump from Thing. It tries to get... Or Sean goes for the double touch. Isn't able to do so. And it's going to be cleared to the corner. Small's still in the air. Burns all of his boost, which is a bit risky. But a great play on the backboard from Sean. Puts WCU back on the attack. Looking up to pass it. Oh, my gosh. Small's just missing the connection dilly tries to make thing own goal now and <laughs> not able to do so as sean is once again back for the mountaineers sean being just a defensive powerhouse for western today yeah i think at this point western colorado just trying to not let gray's harbor score then i mean being up 2-0 still a lot of game to play we're only halfway through this game three so Definitely could go either way, but Mountaineer is maintaining solid control here. Great pass there. Nobody there to answer. Slightly too far. It was just a bit hard. Smalls, I mean, he had control. He tried to spike it a bit more down. You could see how he was trying to reposition himself. He just couldn't get the touch he wanted. Mm -hmm. And right now, WC getting the touch they want as Thing gets a clear downfield, and he's going to try and, oh, sneak it in at the goal line. Can't quite get there, though. And Smalls now trying to, or Smalls trying to get a pass. A double commit from Western. And Thing, once again, being an aggressive last man back, going to play it over to Sleepy Kid. Sleepy's going to get that mid boost and go back. A double demo as Sean finds x Climb and x Climb finds Sean. Sean now already back in and on the backboard. Dilly gets taken out by Smalls. This is an aggressive game from Western, Ooh, but it's not working as x Climb yeah. finds it. Good goal there for Grays Harbor. Grays Harbor still down one with a minute 48 remaining. They need to score to have any hope at carrying on their season. Yeah, this is, as Mountain Man said earlier, a sudden death. If you lose the best of series, then you're going to be done. That's it. Your season's over. And right now, Western trying to keep their season going. Looking pretty decent. 
A double commit, though, isn't what you need. Smalls gets the save to keep Western ahead in this game three. Thing now trying to find any chance for a pass. Isn't able to. Sean clanging up the wall now. And it's going to be Thing going in very fast. Uh, Grace Harbor definitely needs to attack a little more aggressively. Only a minute 15 remaining, and they need a goal here, so... Yeah, and a great save from Smalls, too. Those are ones that you don't see enough of hitting the ball back over your backboard. That's a, it's a scary play. If you slightly miss it, you could just send it flying into your own net. Well, I've Smalls scored many clear. times oh. by doing that. <laughs> Me, too. It's, it's tough, but... Right now, Weston's still ahead, and they're trying to close it out here. Oh, trying to get that one insurance goal. Aren't Smalls can't quite find it. Thing now, zero, trying to find a way to pass it back. Sleepy Kid does it for him as Smalls and Sean once again double commit. The communications from Western slight, like, kind of starting to crumble, but... Yeah, I think they're kind of in the headspace of just playing defensively, not working as well offensively. I think in their headspace, they, they kind of win this. Yeah, I mean, and right now, Western just maintaining that defensive control and a great clear getting those clears when they need to oh my gosh sean trying for a wave dash to follow up isn't able to find it it's going to be another double commit from western putting it midfield dilly tries for a shot isn't able to find it sleepy kid going to connect thing pops it high a triple commit from western but no capitalization opportunity for grace harbor oh my gosh sleepy kid tries for a double dilly misses the shot with one second left, at WCU can get a clear, and that is it. WCU in three advances to the semis. Well played by the Mountaineers. I mean, three to two, Smalls taking that game by storm in terms of the scoreboard. A goal and assist, three saves, playing incredibly well defensively. And each Mountaineer today had their time to show, like, had their time to shine. They each topped with exactly what they needed and exactly when. The team needed it absolutely i think that's a great game for the mountaineers being able to win 3-0 in the quarterfinals gives them confidence going into the semifinals as we said earlier they are going to be playing the only team they have lost to this season so definitely uh, going to be an exciting semifinals here for wcu esports i mean and it is best of seven we don't know how these teams will play on a longer game series as well but for now i think Western wins 3-0 going to the semis. Should be exciting. And at about 20 minutes here, I hope you join us again as WCU Slate will be taking on their Rocket League quarterfinals against UHC. Okay. Yeah, so exciting matchup there. Uh, but that'll be it for us here on WCU Esports. We will be back in 25 minutes for WCU Slate. I'm Mountain Man. I'm JoJo's Mojo. And I'm Disagree. Have a good night.